Well, today we're picking the uh, fruit from the Carmichael Ranch. This is a part of the guys of Old State on the farm. Uh, this is in a different soil series than uh, the, the main geysable, which is alluvial. This is more of a kind of a sediment and clay soil. So typically the fruit comes in with a different taste, uh, higher pH, less acidity, produces a softer style wine. And we ferment this separate and, and create an ATP wine out of it. Uh, what we're doing now is sorting uh, due to the, the kind of the vintage conditions this year, the growing season has been cool, uh, fog throughout the summer has been persistent, which created a little bit of rot issues, which we dealt with by opening up the canopies, and then suddenly, out of the blue, came this intense heat wave, which burned quite a bit of the, the clusters. So we're going through now, mainly cutting out some of the scorched fruit, you know, trimming off the shoulders that got burned by the sun, because this is really not desirable in the fermenter going to lead to kind of a, a sun-dried fruit character, very high acid, and it's not really something we want to see in the wine. So we're, you know, we left a lot of fruit behind in the vineyard, so as we're hand-picking, probably 30% of the fruit we just couldn't even pick. That's beyond this point here, so burnt on the vine that we're just leaving it as lost. The rest of it we're trying to clean up here so we can make something of it. I expect, based on, on the look of the the fruit is probably going to turn out some very nice wine. Okay. Uh, it's going to be soft, low acid, low tannin. Um, we'll ferment it on its natural yeast, which are here in the grapes. And uh, we're going into an open top fermenter uh, with a floating cap. So we're just going to let the skins rise. And our plan is just to do pump over. So we'll irrigate the cap twice a day. We'll taste. And as we see tannins extract, we'll back off. Um, as far as frequency and, and the amount of time we put the uh, juice through the skins. Uh, so far from the first fermentations of the season, mainly from the, the Doozy Ranch, what I'm seeing is, is some pretty good color this vintage. It's almost similar to the 99s, uh, 2001 as well. So it should produce some deeply colored Zinfandels. And uh, I think, uh, you know, the, the quality is, is really going to be right up there at the top, but it's going to require a lot of work here at the, at the winery as far as sorting and really doing all this cleaning up of the fruit before we crush the grapes into the fermenter. So we're hoping for the best. And, and so far from what I'm seeing in the fermenter, it's, it's looking like we're going to get some good quality. It's just going to be a short quantity of in it. We're not going to have much, much wine this year.